So you wanna know how I made this beat? Wait, well, stick around to find out. What's up, y'all? My name is J.D. Andre, and I already know what you want. You see the title of this video. You saw the thumbnail. You want to know the tip-top secrets on how to make a knowledge-type beat. Okay, spoiler alert, I don't have all the secrets. I don't even know if I have a majority of his own secrets. But I figured out how to come close to knowledge of sound, and I want to share my findings, if that's okay. So, we're not going to waste any time. Let's get straight into the beat. Like any other artist... Knowledge has a lot of different styles, you know, he doesn't just make one type of beat So it can be hard to be like, oh, this is a knowledge type beat. I'm making a knowledge type beat You know, I mean, he has many different styles But for this video, I want to focus on the older knowledge The kind of knowledge that make the real vibey, dream-like, boom, bap, like lo-fi beats, you know Something like this <laughs> That's the Shoka, it's one of my favorite knowledge beats. It just it's just super aesthetic, it's vibey, it's dope, I love it, and we're gonna make something like it. At least we're gonna try. There's a few key elements that I believe knowledge uses in a majority of his beats, and we're gonna go through each of them one by one. You ready to dive deep into knowledge's sound? Come follow me. Let's get it. So one of the first key elements I found in the majority of knowledge beats is off grid, off kilter percussion. So right here we have a drum progression that I programmed myself. Okay, I just grabbed a few one shots from a Dilla kit. I kept this beat really simple, just a kick, snare, and some hi-hats. Much like in a Jay Dilla video where I was talking about how he has structure but still has that swing, we kind of still want to go for that same idea, but I feel like we can play a little looser here with the drums. Kick is near the one, but I just moved it off a of grid just a little bit. So we have... With a metronome. Sounds like a mess, doesn't it? And not only are the kicks off of the grid, okay, I added in kicks kind of in random places. They seem random, but again, there's a method to the madness. And a lot of knowledge beats, he places a lot of his drums in places that you wouldn't expect, okay? Beat making, you don't want to be predictable. That's how you get boring, that's how you stay still and you stay stagnant. Knowledge loves to play with the placement and timing of his drums. That's why when you listen to it by itself, sometimes it might sound off. So like this third kick. Or that second kick right that that, that, that look, it sounds a little bit like a stutter kick, you know what I mean? I'm also using ghost kicks. All a ghost kick is is when you lower the velocity of that kick, lower the level, you know, enough to where you can still kind of feel it, but you don't hear it strong. It just gives a cool pumping effect to that next kick that comes in. And we also threw in a snare here. So if you notice, again, I'm not keeping the same, I'm not even keeping the same snare pattern very often. Um, it's not just kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare. We got kick, kick, snare, snare, snare. I have a snare coming right before that kick on the next measure, which is not common. Doing your snares like this isn't necessarily common, but it gives a good groove and unpredictability. That's the name of the game. You don't want to be predictable. With the hats, I kind of just want to follow that same groove, you know what I mean, but give a little more bounce to it. Real simple stuff, you know what I mean? Real simple stuff. The next element that I want to talk about is the sample, okay? So when knowledge samples, while he uses soul, jazz, funk, R&B, you know, very common samples that a lot of producers love to use, he also likes to go outside of the box. So a lot of times if you go and listen to some of his beat tapes, he has a whole beat tape where it's dedicated to R&B vocals over video game soundtracks. And I think it's one of the most like creative projects. It's super dope. Even with the more common samples or more ordinary samples for it, like hip hop, boom bap, these type of beats, he makes them weird in his own way. He processes them in a way where they're a bit unrecognizable, you know, um, and they're catered to his own sound. Let me show you what I mean. I wanted to find a sample that felt very dreamlike, airy, and just gave me a good vibe. And this is the sample that I found.
chop that it came up with. So out of context, it doesn't sound amazing. You know what I mean? It definitely sounds like it's a bit off. And you'll notice that with a lot of the sounds. But in context, it's going to be chef's kiss. These are a few of the effects that I put on there. So first of all, I actually threw a lot on there. Um, I have a RX, I have the RX950, um, which just gives it like a real crunchy, like um, a crunchy analog kind of sound. I did a little filtering. Um, Xenology uh, FX is super cool. It has a lot of the SP404 effects on there. So I did some compression, and I did a little uh, filtering with the isolator. Um, then I also used Comeback Kid to give it a little bit of delay. Um, for a hell of Venice verb to add a little space to the vocal. Now, this is one of the secret sauces. Um, I, I um, reduced the bit rate and I crushed it using the grater. And that's going to give it kind of like a piercing sound, but make it sound like it's coming out of an old television. Then I used Ozone uh, Stereo Shaper to widen it out even more. Then I added for the limiter just to give it a sidechain effect. So this is with all the effects. <laughs> So I took a sound that sounded good in its own right, but I added effects to kind of make it my own and add a different twist to it. So if you don't find a sample necessarily that's like really weird, really abstract, you can make it abstract and make it your own. Okay, so here I just added a little bit of rain sound, just kind of fill out the space, add a little texture to the beat. You know, nothing complicated, real simple stuff. So lastly on the beat, <coughs> I added a few vocal samples. Now, Knowledge often uses vocal chops, and also he uses like vocal samples like R&B acapellas or even hip hop acapellas. Um, his Meek Mill series is probably one of the most popular series he's ever, ever done. Probably the most popular series he, he has done. Summer nights can even turn cold, and the streets are fully when niggas don't even get to turn old. My heart's pumping to a turn gold. You niggas stuck in loops when I'm riding like fuck it, it's a long road. And this one I did, decided to forego the acapella but let me know if you want to see a part two i might try my hand to doing a meat mill flip or i might do like a r&b flip on a cool little beat let me know if you want to see a part two just do a few like hip-hop boxes in there you know a couple yo's a couple of haze you know the whole nine i added some delay a little bit of reverb a little filtering real simple stuff and all together this is what the beat sounds like I think it sounded really good, but I was just missing a little bit of sound. Like I'm missing something like a, uh, like a feeling or like a texture. Another element that I want to talk about is analog emulation. Okay, so I don't have access to like a tape to tape reel or anything like that. I have a record player, but it's not going to give me the sound that I necessarily want because I use the digital sample instead of sampling vinyl. So to achieve the effect of getting that analog warmth. What I did was add a little bit of TR5 tape machine from T-Rex. Added a little compression from Valve Compressor. Um, this is by Good Hertz. It's a great plugin, especially if you're trying to get that low five vintage sound. Then I just opened up um, T-Rex Classic Clipper just to tame those peaks and get my levels right. So this is what the beat sounds like after all the effects are set and done. What That's how I got a knowledge sound. Now again, I'm not knowledge. I'll never be knowledge. I'm not trying to be knowledge. After listening to a few of his beats and listening for elements that they all shared, this is what I was inspired to create. Not knowledge. I won't be knowledge. I'm JD Andre. So I have my own sound. Well, I hope you got something out of this video. It's a quick one. I'm starting to knock these out. Um, let me know if there's another artist that you want to see, another producer you want to see me do. I've really been enjoying these videos lately. It's been getting me out of my comfort zone, making me try something new. And thank you to every single person who is commenting, liking, and subscribing. For real, y'all are literally the greatest. I got more videos on the way. Thank you so much. Like I said, any questions, comments, anything, leave it below. I will respond, okay? I will definitely respond to your comments. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. If you want to check out more beats, check this video or that video. I don't know which side it's on. It's going to be one of these sides. You see it. It's there by now.